welcome. We are officially in week one of the FBL Final Battle League. I am Finn Finn, Flying Finn Josh, how you want to refer to me. Uh, and we are taking on the Legend Stable, I believe it is. I suck with names, so I'm going to quickly confirm. The Legends Table, okay. I had the letters all right there. I just kind of broke the word off in the wrong place. So I do apologize. Not sure what your real uh, name is, but best of luck to you if you're watching the video um, i'm hoping it was at least a good one hopefully no rng hacks but let's dive into uh, my breakdown uh, they are the seattle dragonairs i am a big fan of their logo and the team name so i appreciate it i like it um, it's very cool um, taking a look at the matchup we see that they have gouging fire torkoal walking wake Deoxys Speed, Raging Bolt, Hatterene, Shift Tree, Skarmory, Weezing, Bronzor, and Fret. They've got three Terra Captains, Shift Tree, Skarmory, uh, and Fret, um, which are going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. Also, real quick, I don't do post edits, so we're just getting this in. Fuck it, we'll do it live. So, real quick, can I quickly. all of these quickly identify their terror captain so wheezing and then shift tree which is actually a funny story behind that one because it's a mod i'm dreading and i really regret that okay Hopefully um, they come through now. So yes, there are their Terra Captains. Um, it's right on week one. We've got Sun versus Rain. I think that's a great way to start it. Um, before I show the team that we've prepped and that we're going to be going into, uh, let me just kind of show my thought process on each mon. Gouging Fire. I have not faced this mon yet in a competitive league format, but I fear it. Um, it's uh, Burning Block or whatever it's called. It's Protect That Burns. Not looking forward to that. If I can avoid or play around that, I'm going to have to try here. Um, between, um, you know, Palafin um, and a couple of my other mons, a lot of contact hitters don't want to face it. Um, thankfully, though, I um, can kind of play around that, have a few ideas on how I want to go about it. Um, Torkoal. Torkoal's going to be there. It's going to be sitting at the side. If they don't bring it, I would be shocked. Um, Walking Wake is also very annoying. Deoxys Speed... Um, so I had planned a team throughout the week and then I noticed that they had made transactions during the, the buy period and I didn't catch those. And so I had to make adjustments today. My fault, all on me, but the access speed is one of the months that they added that I had not planned for. So some of my speed tiers might be a little bit interesting. We're going to, we're going to find out. Um, Raging Bolt, that's going to be an annoying pain, um, Thunderclap is something I don't want to deal with. Hatterene, um, Magic Bounce, I hate that very much. Shift Tree, Terra Captain. Shift Tree, um, in the draft, I actually recommended Shift Tree to the, um, uh, to the Legends table. And they took it and made it the Terra Captain because I called out like, oh yeah, it's great on Sun Team. It's also viable without the Sun, use it. Um, and I'm dreading it because that's a mod that can really F me over if I'm not careful here. Uh, Skarmory. It's the tank, it's the hazard, setter, remover, whatever they need in this situation. Weezing, Terra Captain. I'm not fearing it too much. It's very bulky, very defensive, and depending on its Terra typing is very interesting. However, if they tear it into one thing to try and wall, say, Palafin, uh, then there's other options. I don't think they need to do that here. I think Walking Week is a big enough deterrent um, for Palafin. Um, Bronzor, I'm curious if they bring it. It's going to be very tanky, very wally. Um, I would not be surprised if more times this year than not, when the Bronzor comes, it runs heat proof rather than levitate. And the reason I say that, it's on a freaking fire team. Or a sun team, I should say. If you're putting the sun up, expect you know fire users on the other side. So heat proof might help reduce that a bit more before you might not, uh, not necessarily expect ground type attacks. Although... They have a lot of ground weaknesses, so that levitate is nice. Uh, and then we've got Fret, another mod that's kind of a little bit late. Um, it's Frisk is going to be annoying. I don't want to give away too much too soon, but we'll have to kind of play around that. 
Um, of their three terror captains, I feel like Shift Tree is the most likely. Um, it can deal with a lot with the water moves, and so I can see it playing full on in to the sun. I don't see it being too bulky, um, so I don't see it being trying to defensive typing. Uh, but I could see it Terra as an option here. Terra into Fairy, since they don't have a whole lot of options for that. Terra into Fire, take advantage of the sun. Um, or just maybe Terra Graph, give that an extra attack boost uh, and go from there. Um, Deoxys Speed is going to throw things off a little bit. Raging Bolts can be a bit of a pain, but we'll have to kind of play around it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the team that I brought. Um, real quick, actually, take a look at theirs. Uh, a few things I'm going to try and lean on and call out. Uh, they don't have a ton of speed. They've got Deoxys Speed, they've got Walking Wick. Outside of that, their speed just kind of dropped. Hoping I can take advantage of that. Torkoal gets the sun up. There are mons that all of a sudden that aren't very fast get real fast. Um, Shift Tree with Chlorophyll being an absolute pain. Walking Wake if it's got speed as its top stat. I think Gouging Fire, there are some ways you can do it. Throw a choice item on there. Raging Bolt, Thunderclap priority move. Shift Tree, Sucker Punch priority moves. Things I don't want to deal with. Now, we take a look at the team I'm bringing. Uh, first one up, it's Palafin. It's my baby boy. We're actually going to do Choice Scarf this week. Uh, reason for that is I want to spam momentum moves and I also want a late game speed uh, sweeper. Now the interesting thing to it is if we take a look at it um, at the speed that I am bringing in this case, I'm putting none on there. I'm just going choice scarf with no speed investments. Now that might seem interesting and that's primarily because of the fact that they don't have a whole lot of um, speedy mons. Um, if they go max speed Deoxys, Scarf ain't outspeeding here in this case. That's just the sad truth. I've got no way of touching it. Um, if they were to go um, uh, and choice Scarf another Mon, then great, they beat it. But on paper, Palafin, especially with Jet Punch, has priority for speed for a lot of those things. Um, and that's going to be fun. But... Um, in general, though, I'm planning on just click and flip turn a lot and trying to set up other bonds with situational advantages. Um, now, part of the reason I've got so much faith in doing it this way and not trying to outspeed some other things is, let me pull up the calcs real quick. But if I can keep Halifin fairly healthy um, then I can live a thunderclap and potentially revenge with an outrage here and that's probably going to be worst case scenario thunderclap's going to be a pain if they've got protosynthesis activated in their max across the board there's not a whole lot I can do um, but I've at least got a roll chance to survive it, and then if they're if the sun's not up, I'm guaranteed to survive it. Or if they're not max modest, I'm uh, I've got a really good chance to survive it. And so we're going that way. Main plan though is get Palafin in on some situations to where hey, it might be more ideal for me. Um, force them to swap out. I'm clicking flip turn. We're getting chip damage, and then we are going into a mon that can punish. Uh, speaking of mons that can therefore punish, we take a look at Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle, we're going to choice specs this week, our second choice item mon. Um, Freeze Dry has a lot of mons that it can really punish here um, on their side. Uh, the only real mon that jumps out that um, is going to be able to kind of deal with it is going to be Torkoal, Bronze Orb. I don't know if they bring Bronze or if they do power to them, but Torkoal is going to probably be their best answer for it. And its special defense isn't going to be that good. And so I'm kind of anticipating that after a few turns of this, Iron Bundle will be able to start potentially cleaning up. Or if I can anticipate a Torkoal swap in, Hydro Pump, even in the sun, is doing a ton. Um, and then if I want to play it safe, we can then continue to click flip turn. Um, then we've got Pelipper. Heavy duty boots, Pelipper. I want to make sure that if I need to, I can swap it in, bring it in, and get rain up, get out. 
um, and go from there. That's going to be kind of a big element to me to it. Um, I've been debating whether or not I want to try and get um, Bramble Gas in on this team just to help deal with um, rock um, issues. You know, get the spin going. Um, I ended up deciding against that just because when I looked at this team, this team's so heavily offensive. I don't know if they're going to try and get hazards up. If they do here, then that's going to be an issue for me with Bundle. But that's something that I'll have to kind of play around. Um, Pelipper here, I need three attacking moves. Normally, I like running Roost and maybe a U-turn for momentum. Um, but I need Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Hurricane just in the off chance they bring some of their different options. Ice Beam can potentially, you know, hit and punish if they go hard into Raging Bolt. Hurricane hits a number of their mons, um, and Hydro Pump, of course, in rain is going to be fun to deal with. Pelipper's main goal here, though, cancel out the sun, get the rain up. If I can get Torkoal, honestly, I think this is going to come down to who can get the Weather Setter down sooner. Um, if I can get, you know, Torkoal dead, advantage me. If they can get Pelipper dead, advantage them, because the weather is going to be a big element in this game, which is why we have this Florges set. And it's going to be a fun one. Moonblast, Chilling Water, Rain Dance, and Wish. Don't ask me what I was thinking. But we're going to see this horribly fail or work wonderfully. I don't know which. But it's going to be fun. Um, this is a specially defensive tank. I mainly want it to wall Walking Wake. And I want it to wall um, uh, Raging Bolt. Um, I've got to be careful with the terror, make sure I do it at the right time. Um, I've got enough bulk on this that I can take advantage of things. And then I've got natural rain dance here because I I want to kind of punish. We're going terra water, which against the sun team is kind of interesting, but with rain dance, I, I want to be able to kind of punish and hit a few things here. Um, chilling water, I know is not the best. I should probably go terra dance, but my thought process is, is I don't want to terra any sooner than I have to because this thing's main goal is to deal with Walking Wake and to deal with Raging Bolt. Walk, if Walking Wake's all they've got, I can tear very early because then water deals with fire, water deals with water, and then their Dracos, I can eat one, recover, and we're good. On the flip side, however, Raging Bolt, I can't tear and give it that super effective because then it's doing a lot more than I can do. I thought about doing Calm Mindsets, but they've got so many physical attackers um, it's just not worth it. Uh, the reason Chilling Water, I don't want Terror too soon, and I want that Chilling Water to, if they go into an attack mine, I can get that read, potentially get that off. My hope here is, is I can kind of, you know, deter them a little bit with the Torkoal, have this as a backup for Pelipper, and then if I can get a Rain Dance off, um, especially if, I, you know, Torkoal coming in to eat something from Forges, that's where I think it's going to get really interesting. Um, Iron Boulder. This is going to be hopefully a late game sweep. We're going to just try and come and clean up. Um, booster energy with enough speed that unless it's choice item, which if it's a choice item Deoxys speed, or choice speed Deoxys speed, power to you. Otherwise, this thing's going to outspeed everything. Um, anything that they scarf, this should um, potentially outspeed. Anything that they don't scarf, this should still outspeed. Um, a lot of attack power. If I can come in, get a Swords Dance off, and get that boost, then this thing can just really clean up. There are a few mods I have to worry about, but we're going Mighty Cleave, because if we take a look back at their uh, typing here, Bronze Ore is really their only option to deal with Rock, to which we've got Dark Throat Chop to deal with it. Um, in addition, we then have Zen Headbutt, um, which I'm kind of debating or playing around. I want to say I had Zen Headbutt originally, for uh, when they had Great Tusk as well, but now they don't because, of, again, they did those changes, and so I might need to change something. So I might change that, actually, real quick before I start genning these mods, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, and then lastly, we've got Overquill. Overquill is... I want to get Toxic Spikes up. This was before they got Hatterene. However, I'm going to keep this set because Hatterene doesn't want to switch in on this. Okay, they can either bounce back, Toxic Spikes, I can play around, I've got Pelipper, go back into Overquill. Uh, their grounded um, Poison type wants to run Levitate, and so it's not going to pick up the Toxic Spikes, is essentially the goal, my hope. Um, 
So if they happen to go into Hatterene and I can get a Barb Barrage off, they're screwed because then I'm going to outspeed and can finish it off. Uh, even if I don't get uh, the poison in, because I believe I can do over half on a fairly bulky Hatterene. Um, if they don't, however, I can get Toxic Spikes up. Um, Skarmory is going to be their best bet with um, Defog, and if they happen to do that, I can potentially punish um, on the turn they try to Defog. Otherwise, I can kind of sit stall a little bit and go from there. Um, we're going with Intimidate just because they've got um, a number of physical attacking threats that I want to deal with. Gouging Fire, I want to get those Intimidate off. I'm really hoping they don't bring Clear Amulet. Um, Shift Tree, um, it can go special, but I feel like in this matchup, they're wanting to go physical attack. Um, Ferret, if they do tidy up combos, I think it gets that. Um, this is mainly going to be a special bulk, so be interesting to see. But yeah, that is the team that I am bringing. That is the thought process. Might change the move on Iron Boulder here in a minute, but we'll see. Uh, match is in about an hour. I'm going to officially gen my team and get ready, and we'll go from there. But um, I appreciate you all, and I will throw it over to uh, Match Me. Take care. Okay, we are good to go. All right, wish them good luck. Let's see what they go with. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so they did bring Shift Tree, Torkoal, okay. They brought Weezing, so no you, no you. No Skarmory, that's nice. No Hatterene, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what else did they not bring? Crap Bolt, they bought Speed, they bought Shift Tree. They didn't bring Walking Wake, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Rock is really free here. Um, I think I'm going to lead Palafin. And we're either going to flip turn or we're going to manually swap out. I am nervous. But no walking wake, I actually kind of like here. Um, I need to find out if Deoxys is physical or special or a mix. It could be a mix, ew. But I feel like Shift Tree's gonna be physical. And we will have to kind of go, go from there. And try and take some notes of what happens as well. But uh, best of luck. They go right off the bat, they go Deoxys speed. Interesting. It's got pressure on. Do I. I'm gonna swap out hard here. question is what do I want to go into? I think I'm going to go into Overquill. I, th I feel like this is going to be a hazard setup. Zen Headbutt, okay. Good first turn here. All right, so right off the bat, I feel like they have to go into Weezing here. They could go into Shift Tree, but they're kind of in an interesting pickle. I'm gonna get a layer of Toxic Spikes up. We're gonna hard swap out. 
Got to pay attention to what kind of wheezing it is if they go into wheezing. They go into wheezing. They did go with neutralizing gas, so no levitate. And the rest of their mons are all grounded, so I think something's going to get poisoned. Weezing could be a terror captain here. Um, we're just going to click crunch, get some damage, try and get a range. We outspeed, we do about a third. They go for the, ooh, they go for a Will-O-Wisp. That's going to be annoying. But you know what, that's fine. This isn't meant to be a big physical threat. And then I'm assuming Black Sludge, Black Sludge. That is fine. We're going to go into Iron Bundle. Weezing's not, I don't think it's going to be a special attacker. They hard swap out. They go into Torkoal. Ooh. And it's poisoned. Okay. Oh. Oh, what to do, what to do. Honestly. I feel like they need to keep this safe. We're gonna click flip turn here. We're gonna play this safe. I don't think they stay in. They stayed in! Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back into Overquill. And he's probably gonna wrap its fin here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So how do I wanna punish that? We're gonna go into Iron Boulder. We're, screw it, we're doing it. I think he's going for rapid spin. Goes for the yawn, that's gonna suck. But you know what, you have no answer for Mighty Cleave. I'm just gonna go for the big damage here. Whatever you're swapping in here is not going to like it. And if you stay in, yeah, I was going to say, you stay in, you lose your Sunsetter. You go into the Weezing. Okay, We've seen Will-O-Wisp. I'm not super afraid of you right now, but I'm gonna play this safe. We're gonna go back into Overquill. I'm losing my speed boost, I went too early. That Yawn was a really good play. Goes for the pain split. Oh, this thing's gonna be so tanky and annoying. Okay. We're kind of, it feels like we're at an impasse here. I'm gonna get T-spikes up again. See what you go out into. Uh, the idea of being able to force wheezing in as the next mon feels good. 
purple coming in. It's gonna take some more damage, I like that. I feel like it's Heat Rock because it's not Boots. If I can get Torkoal to go down, I, I feel a lot better here. We're gonna go Bar Barrage. I just, I want this Torkoal dead. Goes for the Rapid Spin. I knew it had it, but... Unfortunately, Torkoal just taking a ton of damage. So I'm liking that. It's in the red. Overquill really putting in a lot of work for me right now. funny um, I feel like you have to swap out here you can't afford to let Torkoal go down this early the question is, is what are you going to go into screw it I'm going to be annoying I want T-spikes up Back into Deoxys. We're just going to click Crunch. You have no real option here. Stopping Tantrum, that should kill. Oh, it doesn't. And we do a nice chunk of damage. Sunlight Faded. Oh, what is the item on Torkoal? Overquill, though, right now, just putting in absolute work. Okay, I'm curious, though. Okay, Stomping Tantrum didn't do all that much. We're going to go into Pelipper. Might be a throw, but I want to save the Intimidate on Overquill. Goes for extreme speed, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna go, honestly, Ice Beam here. I don't think they can kill because they've shown to be physical. I'm very physical, so once I got Thunder Punch, which they might, goes for the Zen Headbutt. back into Overquill because I'm a madman. Feeling good, feeling good so far. Need to stay in control. I feel like they're just going to kill here either way. So we're just going to go Toxic Spikes. It didn't have an electric move. Otherwise, I feel like I would have saw it there. All right. 
first casualty. Oh, come on. Oh, Excel's giving me issues. So I can't see some of my stuff. We're gonna go Palafin. I don't really fear anything that this thing's got. He's probably gonna go E speed just because he wants to outspeed me here, but we're gonna go flip turn. Oh, he goes taunt. Interesting. Palafin is getting our first kill. Okay. We're going Iron Bundle. And he's gonna get poisoned, yes! Okay, I like that, I like that, I like that here. Okay, and then I'm immediately going hard into Florges. Florges should be able to wall this. Goes for a volt switch. I'm okay with that. Oh, gets a crit. That's a crit. Eey. And before I forget, I wanted to do this. To indicate overquill has died. Okay. Bolt has. Another Mon Poisoned. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, so we have our Terramon. A Terramon versus a Terramon here. Um, shift tree, base speed 80, I am base speed 75. They should outspeed if they have, they should outspeed regardless. I'm curious what they go with. We're just going to stay and we're going to click Moonblast here. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to play chicken. I want to see what they tear up. Terra ground. Terra ground? Oh. Goes for the tailwind. I'm okay with this so far.
Poison's going to do a bit here. So he's at plus two speed for his side. That is going to be annoying. Tailwind's going to have two turns after this. Question is, is can he kill me? We're going to go with Wish here. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go into Boulder. This is this is risky, but I'm going into Boulder. I want Forges around for Raging Bolt. Go to Leaf Blade. That's going to kill. And then it died to, I'm assuming, I missed that. Did it die to poison or did it die to life orb? Okay, so shift trees down, they've used their Terra. Um, we're gonna go Palafin here. They go wheezing. I don't. That's worth the risk. I don't think they would have brought enough speed to outspeed my scarf. That's big for me. And then we're gonna go into Pelipper. So I should be able to roost. Yep, I anticipated a Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. No rain because of neutralizing gas, that's fine. We're gonna roost right here. So is Drizzle going to kick in? Drizzle's going to kick in now. All right. All right, Tailwind's gone. I'm just going right into Forges again. He's going to Volt Switch and go into Torkoal. That's my prediction. Also, I need to update you. Okay. If they go into Torkoal, I'm actually going to be a little happy. They go into Weezing. This is going to be kind of the pivot battle right now. I'm not even questioning it. They've not threatened Pelipper in any way. I'm going to hard swap into it. Uh, 
I'm assuming pain split. Yep, that's fine. We're clicking Ice Beam here, because if they go back into Raging Bolt, then they're not going to like it. If they go into Torkoal, then Torkoal's dead. Raging Bolt. <laughs> I, I might have over-exaggerated the not going to like it. My goodness. I mean, we just go back into forges, I guess. No, nothing is really punishing us here. They're chipping down forges, but at the same time, they're taking a lot of poison chip. I mean, it's their last waters, and so they go into. Okay. We're gonna moon blast. See if we can't get some damage here. This thing could just sweep me here. Then that's my big worry. Goes for the dragon dance. That's not ideal. I might have need. I should have waited a turn to reveal. Hey, special attack fell. You know that's that's helpful. We're gonna go Chilling Water. I should have clicked Chilling Water to start with. They're going for it again, okay. Can we catch them being greedy? They got Morning Sun Dragon Dance. They're gonna be fast, but you're not gonna hit for a whole lot right now. You click Sunny Day. <laughs> You've only got one attack move. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, you're probably gonna click Sunny Day again, so we're gonna go Moonblast. Oh, we get you to swap out. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you're going to take poison chip here. You're dead no matter what next turn. Okay. All my mons are weak to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click wish. We're going to find out. Don't think this will kill. Yeah. Sent out Torkoal. 
Gotta get the sun back up. Whew. We get our wish off. I'm immediately clicking rainy day again. Or rain dance. What are you going into? Wheezing. That's fine because I'm going into Pelipper. Getting that gouging fire out. Chilling water. I'm so glad I brought that instead of Terra Blast. I really am. Um, I think now I click Hydro Pump because Torkoal comes out. Whatever. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to click Roost here. I think it's important to stay healthy because of gouging fire. You sent out not, that's gonna be the Torkoal that's gonna die. That's fine. Torkoal's dead to poison. <laughs> we both brought manual weather as well. That's funny to me, that is funny. Honestly, at this point, I'm okay with sacking floor just if I need to. anyone's game right now. Oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous. Here's the thing though. What do you do to me? I'm gonna get a wish off. Heat crash. Oh, that did quite a bit. That's your only move? I mean, we go into Pelipper, right? Actually, you know what? In case they anticipate that, they're probably gonna click Sunny Day, because that'll activate after, but if I activate Rain Dance now, Okay, I'm fine with that. And we're going to click Ice Beam. Because you're going to click... You're going to click Sunny Day. So we go into Palafin and we click Outrage. Because you're going to click Sunny Day here.
There we go. Your defense is going to go up, but you're not... I feel like I can two-shot you, but you can't two-shot me. Yeah. <laughs> also, once again, I need to edit because I have another fatality. Keep forgetting to update that. I want to do it. I just keep forgetting. Yeah, so no matter what he goes into, something's probably going to die. I mean, wheezing, maybe? But I feel like it's a waste here. His Pelipper deals with this. Goes for Morning Sun. Outspeeds. Confused now. I think he's going to either Morning Sun again, or if Big big Read, if he clicks Sunny Day here. Yeah, he's not going to get much. He's clicked Morning Sun three times now. Uh, Morning Sun should only give him eight total. Screw it. We're just gonna click Hydro Pump here. Oh, why did I do that? That was a, I. I threw. I threw. I threw so hard. You're clicking. Morning sun again. Oh, this thing is so annoying. He doesn't really have a reliable way to do damage to me right now. But he's able to recover a lot of health. So that's four or five morning suns. Going for another dragon dance. Was that a crit? No, it just did that much. Goes for morning sun five or six. If this is a three turn outrage. That's gonna be clutch for me. I have to do it. He either got two or three more morning suns. One or two more morning suns. Oh, this... This has not felt fun. <laughs> See, he's got to go sunny day again. And he has to click morning sun. Otherwise, he's going to... Oh, that's why it's doing more. It's boosting his speed because of the dragon dances. Oh my gosh. So he has to click Morning Sun again. 
Is it, that's either his last one or he's got one more. He's fully healed. Is he out of Morning Suns? Please be out of Morning Suns. Well, he will be after this. Give me three outrages, okay? Come on. Not two. Give me three. Or a crit. It would be nice to end this. Okay, I got the third. He has to click Heat Crash here. That's not going to kill. Let's go. Oh, that was... That was intense. Now I go back into Pelipper. Sun is officially gone. And then I'm saving Pelipin in the back because I need Jet Punch to be safe against freaking... Oh. Terra Blasts, not gonna do much. Yeah, we're clicking Roost. Okay, I need to figure out do that much. Back to full health. Click in Terra Blast. Need to get a crit. I not notice. It had to have been a crit. Alright. Either that or a Hyrule or something. I'm clicking Hydro Pump. We connect. Does over half. All right, if this Hydro Pump connects, we should win. It connects, This sh unless it was a high roll, low roll. It was a high, low roll roll. Are you kidding me? They get the pain split, but that's fine. They are low enough. It won't matter. We're going to click Hydro Pump again. I think... Let me check and see if Ice Beam is the better play. Um, we're gonna go Hydro Pump. I think it's our best odds. We connect, that's game. That was one heck of a game. Um, it came down to, honestly, a chess game at the end. Well played, uh, Legends table. Um, honestly, well done. We're just gonna click Roost. Doesn't matter, you're gonna kill us. We're gonna have you then die to poison. But, a 2-0 win. That was a great game. That was a great game. I didn't have to use Iron Bundle. That floor just set was kind of a last minute one and it worked out perfectly in a way I didn't even anticipate. But... But um, Florges put in big work, forced out that gouging fire. That was my biggest fear. Them only bringing um, Heat Crash kind of surprised me, but once I saw that, it felt a lot better.
But I will go ahead and call it there. We are 1-0 to start the season. Um, but a uh, good game, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.